Could you see the steam coming up? Can you see the steam coming up? Baby, just me and you. Welcome to my little small whoop on. Well, let me tell you, child, I'm so sorry that I didn't get a chance to film more stuff. But since this thing been going on, it's really crazy around my house. But anyway, welcome back. Thank you for coming. I just want to eat this little. I have uh, some London Brawl steak. And I have some yellow rice and I have some peppers. I'm just going to put a little pink salt on my steak. I like salt on my steak. And the steak, oh yeah, spicy steak. So the steak is spicy, but I'm still going to add this sriracha mayo on it. I know it's weird. Y'all saw me smell the bottle? It's because I have some, um, I mean, somebody had some shrimp or something in the refrigerator for too long. And this, and I was imagining that the bottle was smelling fishy. But look at this. My little sriracha mayonnaise. You know I love my sriracha mayonnaise. So, I'm so hungry. I haven't really been eating much. Um... I don't know. I've just been trying to make sure everybody's okay and everything is okay and make sure I'm being safe. And it seems like time is flying by so fast and I don't end up eating. And next thing you know, it's midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, 2, 3 in the morning. I don't know what's going on, but I do know I'll be glad when this is over. And I hope everybody's safe. And God bless everybody. God bless your family. Um, I'm so sorry for those of you who have suffered through this where I'm gonna feed myself finally <sighs> sorry I have some nice cognac here and I really 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 need it so we're just gonna pour a little cognac in a glass This is some, uh, this is Douce, Douce Cognac. And we're going to drink it with some Coca-Cola. Then I'm going to eat this hot spicy steak. I'm kind of scared, but I'm going to say my prayers. Dig in. So how is everybody doing out there? This steak looks more well done than it is because after it's cooked, it's putting them. I had to put it in the microwave just now to heat it up. See? I don't know if you can see how rare it is. I like my steak medium. Like I told you, it was already spicy, but just to add the sriracha mayo to it made it better. The rice is nice and hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. This really is good. Especially that I haven't eaten all day. Not going to tell you what time it is. But let's just say. 
since our quarantine, my hours are really, really off. Really, really off. And time is speeding by so fast. Really good. My daughter's my daughter made this. You know my daughter that empanadas and thing? I'll put put her handle right here. Peppers are, I love peppers. Mm. I love sauteed peppers. Sometimes I like to eat the steak with my hands. We may try that before it's all over. I need to go get some more of this. Oh, it wasn't even open. I was wondering. All right. Let me get some. All right, guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really good. All right. So instead of eating this steak with my fork, let me see what it's tasting like if I just take a big old bite of it. Let me rub it in some of this juice. You know, lemon roll is not always really tender. Mm. I have some really tender steak I'm going to share with you. get my salad because I never did my story time with my steak and salad. Remember? Oh, by the way, do you guys like my bonnet? Well, they call it a bonnet. What a bonnet really is, is those little things that kids wear Easter or a big Easter hat. That's really a bonnet. This is really a sleep cap. But if you like this sleep cap, I'm going to put the video up here on introducing these uh, sleep caps. It's cute, right? Make sure you check it out. Thank you.
too big. Since it's not that tender, maybe I better cut it in small pieces. Generally, I like my steak with potatoes. My daughter made it with rice because her baby wanted some rice. Mm. I cancel, I cancel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all notice my my old setup here? Whoa! I was trying some new makeup today. I was doing a video on my beauty channel. I'm gonna put my beauty channel right up here. And I'm gonna tell you something. Sometimes when you do different lights, your makeup looks different. So, what's going on new with you guys? I would love to hear it chat with me. Go down to the comment section and chat with me. I know everyone is stuck in the house right now, except for essential workers. Um, well, that's at least in the tri-state area. I'm I'm really not sure what's going on in every state. I'm in the tri-state New York area. Best thing in the world, saute peppers with your steak. I have some green ones too. Piece of onion. I'm thinking about moving on the other side of the country. 
like we're moving more towards the south. What do y'all think about that? Any of y'all live in the southern state? What what southern state you live in and how do you like it? like when your boyfriend comes over or if you and your husband are not too tired to hang out with each other and you don't want to mess your hair up you just put this little sleep bonnet on and get it on get it on you know what I'm talking about Come on, baby. Hey, yeah, yeah. Let your love come down. The spice is just perfect. The set off. There's two different kinds of spices. It's dry season spice that she put on when cooking it. And then with the with the sriracha mayo. Wow. It's really crazy. Some of my meals are going to be smaller because we have extra people quarantining with us. So we basically make a meal for everyone to eat. And it's really hard for me to get to the store right now. I'm still going to do my shrimp and mussel mukbang. That I was supposed to do over the last three, two or three weeks. But, um, I actually bought the mussels, bought the shrimp, thawed out the shrimp, was unable to do it. The shrimp ended up not being good and I had to let them go. The only kind of crabs I can find that I'm able to buy right now are those little tiny ones. So I don't like buying little tiny crabs. Nonetheless, this is delicioso. Yeah. You know what they say. Yummy, yummy. In my tummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. trying to talk about this as little as possible, but I have to talk about this. Get better now. 
like I had to go to the ATM today and I had to take my bottle of Clorox of course I was all wrapped up my gloves I was in my car but I took my bottle of Clorox to wipe everything off before I touched it and um so the streets were a little more deserted but you should have saw them at birth the only reason the streets were a little more deserted is because our mayor finally put his foot down and they started giving out summonses and they started arresting people in my state. Somebody was giving a party the other night and they got arrested and they had the nerve to call it a coronavirus party. just going in and out of their house just like everything is normal I don't understand they not using any kind of protective clothing I just pray for everyone I feel like I'm chewing the steak like I don't know what And I saw something today that broke my heart this morning on the news at the Bronx Zoo in New York. A worker there gave the virus to a tiger, one tiger, and then the tiger passed it to the other tigers, and then they said, now the lion's have it. Yeah, So they're saying if you have a cat, you have to be careful. They said they don't know if it could be transmitted to a dog. Right. I am scared to death. Of a tiger, of course. Well, I shouldn't say of course because I actually see videos where people travel to Asia and pet tigers. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. But I just was so heartbroken. That was just a horrible thing. so heartbroken for that tiger. I hope it's strong enough to heal. It may very likely be. rice but I'm fin almost finished my peppers and I love the peppers sometimes when you love a certain thing on your plate do you cut it in smaller pieces so you can make it laugh honestly guys this is making me want the steak that's a little more tender. Just the taste of that. I think I'm gonna just eat the rest like that. So it'll be easier to chew. You'll stay safe, stay in your house and stay safe. Do be sure to listen to the news. 
And also, um, you can look on the internet for information on what you should be doing. Where I am this week is supposed to be the apex, which means it's supposed to be the highest point of uh, people coming into the hospital and stuff like that. And then by the end of April, um, the curve should start going down. Let's pray. Let's just pray that that's what it is. There was a lot of predictions about this if you look around on YouTube. I saw a couple of people predict <laughs> that the worst of it will be over at the end of April, but it won't be completely over. I'm not even, my, my camera went off, so thank you so much for joining me. Uh, make sure you say your prayers, and I'm praying for all of you and your family. And come back and see me again. As I said, press that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be updated on the videos that I upload. Thank you. Love you all. To you.